Let's go, girl. Settle in. We got a ride ahead of you. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. And we're live. Welcome back to part 14 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John and will never, ever leave Epilogue 2. Let's check on Uncle and Charles. They're fine. Uncle's having a coffee. Charles doesn't drink coffee. He says it makes him too nervous. And there's Nell 4 and not Taima. Not Taima has red highlights in her mane. Never noticed that. Let's get started. Doing okay, girl. I thought we should investigate this camp as they are too close to our camp. This is interesting. Arthur also noticed a new NPC camp, and this tent looks new. What kind of horse does he have? That is a gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. Nothing special, but very pretty. And we should investigate. Go on. I don't need your type in my damn bitch. Get away from me! Look! I can see you don't like a joke. I was just trying to have some fun over here. Not very neighborly of you. But John isn't interested in shooting anyone. He just wants to explore this camp. What do we have here? A fishing creel, a moonshine jug, a leather valise, and some random supplies. Nothing special, but it all looks new, as in I have never seen these items in the game before. I really like this patchwork tent. Very colorful. We cannot loot that lockbox, and this is an easel. This NPC has artistic pretensions. And John is a patron of the arts, or at least he is happy to support this artist by not stealing from him or, you know, killing him. Where you want me to kick you, huh? Help me! However, we cannot untie him because he will attack us. He'll be fine. Let's move on. Come on, lady. Job, lady. Back to Valentine, we need to purchase some potent miracle tonic. Hey, partner. Good 
Good to see you again, fella. Feel free to browse. Details on all my products in there if you need. Regrettably, we cannot buy 99 because cash is at a premium these days. Done. One more? Of course. Again? We'll take it. Thank you. Next time. And since we are broke, we might as well check in at the sheriff's and see if there's any work for us. What we got here? I've been saying for years you don't send a saint to catch sinners. You want to catch a sinner for us? Look on the wall there. Tara Valentine. Okay, what do we have here? Bounty poster for Ellie Ann Swan. Wanted $25 reward. Ellie Ann Swan. A reward for $25 will be paid for the arrest of Ellie Ann Swan. Wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner wanted alive for questioning. Known as the Black Widow, she has been seen in the Cumberland Falls area with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information or report claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Malloy, Valentine Sheriff's Office. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Mr. Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Huh. I got it. Need some? Pound them to hell. Okay, we have a job. Wish it wasn't raining. But this might make a nice thumbnail. It's getting dark. Okay, Missy. And what's Uncle doing up here? He should be back at camp with Charles. Go ahead and call your mama. That, that, like that drunk's got some angry, well-armed friends. Oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. Appreciate it, John. No sense of humor fellers around here. How drunk were you? Coming all the way out here? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll head back to Beecher's. At least a man can drink in peace there. We have had this exact same scenario with Arthur way back in Chapter 2, and I like to think that Uncle knows this and just thinks it's a big coincidence. Couldn't be about him, of course. Let's follow and see if he returns home. Well, it's getting dark, and if Uncle is anything like Dr. Renault, he will just ride around in one big loop until we leave him alone. Let's move on. Okay, back on the Dakota River, looking for Ellie Ann Swan.
Here she is. That there's a bounty hunter. Get it! You're a piece of work. Now come here. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. Easy enough, but what is up with the boyfriend? He is frozen in fear, paralyzed. Come here. You manhandle me! Time to go! <gasps> Where is our hat? John tries to knock some sense into him, but he is a lost cause. He's gonna go look for Lily Mae or Anastasia next. Let's go, girl. Settle in. We got a ride ahead of you. Let's get Miss Swan back to the sheriff's office. Oh. Did, I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. Ellie is trying her charms out on John. She's weaving her web. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but a jail... A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? John has a policy of not hitting women, thanks to Miss Grimshaw and Abigail. I hate you, you sad sack of shit! I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Here we go! You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? 
I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. <laughs> I met her new sweetheart up by the falls. Feller was lucky not to end up like her husband. If he was any kind of man, I wouldn't be here. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Well, I hope you're comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. <laughs> That's cowboys for you. Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. Some extra dialogue here. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out. To exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know Oops. your secret. Hey, easy! And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moya? Don't you dare mention Mora again! Now hush! <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Ellie Ann Swan knows about Miss Moira. But to be fair, the whole town probably knows about the Sheriff and Miss Moira. 25 bucks hardly seems worth it, but it's honest work. Let's get cleaned up. Abigail won't mind. Feel good? Oh well. Anyway. You're a good filly. How are you, ladies? I could sure use a horse like this. Hey, move! Can you just vamoose? Hello, welcome. Can I get a hot bath, please? I'm real dirty. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. help in here uh, sure sit back and this bath lady kind of looks like Abigail John might be in trouble let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard okay You let me know if you need anything, all right? I can just soak down into this tub. Really now? I'm married. Just thought I should say. Well. I like how John mentions that he's married, even though it seems a little too late. Folks around here are kind of stuck up, isn't they? Yes, that's how it is round here. Always been. I bet you never seen someone so in need of a washing. <laughs> You're too much.
Oh, you do feel tense. Don't think I can stay in here much longer. Okay. Maybe we'll cross paths again. I hear the things the out of town has been saying about my hotel. No, I do not have gold hidden under this establishment. Now that we're all clean, we can collect a free breakfast from this camp. Very convenient. There's one outside of Blackwater as well. Morning to you. Morning, sir. over to the post office to mail off that fish from last week. Damn! You're welcome. How do you do? What would you like to send? Take care now. All we wanted to do was get back to the river and get some fishing in and these jokers decided to ambush us. John is cranky and he needs the cash, so they picked on the wrong cowboy today. Okay, moving on. There is a legendary in this river. Who's that? Here he is, the legendary chain pickerel, 9 pounds 2 ounces. Trophy size pickerel can be up to 30 inches and large specimens live in the Dakota River. They favor special river lures. Good to know. And here is the map. We are on the Dakota River, just west of Limpany.
This video is sponsored by Batmantonio, my second gaming channel where I play all the video games I enjoy that are not Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. And this looks like a good place to stop. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. John is still upset about that ambush but it's his own darn fault for having that deluxe bath and kinda basically cheating on Abigail. Karma will get you every time. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. You still with us, Marston? Just about.